Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share a project that I made for Tim Holtz for his new Ideology 2022 release. For my project, I've used the new accordion folio, which is such a neat concept. This is a folio that comes with an accordion journal. It's all made from distress, mixed media, heavy stock paper. So in the beginning, I sprayed the entire thing with distress inks and oxides, and I really loved the way that it came out. But in the end, I ended up covering the whole thing in the backdrops papers. I'm really drawn to these marble papers, and so I've used that on the folio. I've got one of the new Metal Flourish adornments on the cover. I really love those. They make such a neat statement piece. And I've got a little bit of vintage lace there. A word plaque on the spine, live your story. And on the back, some more backdrop papers, a pocket card, ephemera, some of the new tapes. Really love the new tapes. There's a lot of them and I love them. And then it comes with this tie, so you can hold it closed if you'd like. And then inside, I'll start on the left here. So it comes with this pocket, which I've sewn closed on the bottom, and I've got some ephemera here. This is one of the new transparent wings that I've cut in half. I've got one of the new word keys here. Love that they're flat on the back now, that's so neat. A hardware head. And then in this pocket, I've got one of the tall journal cards. Love these, they're just gorgeous. This is one of the photos from the collage tiles. Got some number strips, ephemera, vintage button at the top, one of the mini paper dolls, flash card, little lace and a mini pin. The buttons are back to back. I've just simply sewn them together. And then this flips out, and then this flips down. And what I've done with this is I've sewn on a piece of the backdrop papers, which created a pocket. I've got a pocket card in that, mini paper dolls, little ephemera and lace that I've stapled on. I've got a bouquet flower here with some of the new tape. This is the little accordion journal. I'll share that last. So the backdrop papers, Volume three are so cool. There's several of them that are full page photographs, which uh, this is one here, and I've just torn the ends to kind of give it a tattered look. And then I took another one and tore ends off of that to extend this. And so I really like the way that looks. I love these new photos. I think it's such a great idea. And I've got some ephemera and paper dolls on that. And then to create this pocket here, when I glued these papers down, I left this center piece here open. I have done a little stitching just to reinforce that. And that made a pocket to hold this journal card. So this is two journal cards put together, kind of just overlapped, a large and a medium. I've got a collage tile photo here, the tickets from the ephemera, and I love these new portraits. The paper doll portraits are so cool. And I've got a number strip here, just all different kinds of ephemera and tape, some of the new linen tape right there. You can see I've sewn on a few little buttons because they fit in that fold there. And so now I'll show you guys this accordion journal. So for mine, I've held it closed with some vintage lace, and instead of using it like an accordion, the first two pages I've sewn together here, which created this pocket. Pocket card, portrait paper doll, ephemera, tape. This is one of the collage tiles, I love these. And then it just flips open. And this spread, I've got several collage tiles here. Some are torn smaller, some I left as is. The bird's nest is in the ephemera pack, I love it. Little bit of vintage lace. This photo frame is so beautiful. Some of the ephemera, a little bit of lace and a vintage button. This is left over from one of these photos at the end. 
And then in this pocket, another pocket card, I've got one of the new snapshots here. I've used my deckle trimmer to give it that vintage photo look. Some ephemera, love the new feather in the ephemera pack. I've got the number there clipped on. Such beautiful pocket cards. And then the next page, this is the backdrop paper that has an envelope on it. And so I use that as my background. I've got a snapshots here, some linen tape, a quote seal, just lots of different ephemera stapled on and clipped on. You can see I've stapled, clipped. I've got one of the new remnant rubs there. So that is this project. I really loved making this. I think next time I'm gonna do more mixed media with this and use inks and paints and stencils. You know, the, the sky's the limit with this. It's just such a neat concept. So I hope you guys are inspired. I appreciate you watching and I will be back soon.